So colleagues, Mr. President, I would like to conclude by summarizing that all that we hold dear as Americans in this Constitution about our fair rights as citizens has been trampled on tonight. That this has happened twice before in this chamber and the Supreme Court has thrown it out twice before. I hope that they will find a case that this will put before the court again because it is the responsibility of the court to keep taking us back to this document, this Constitution, when we waver from the course it lays out. It should not be a situation that the government can simply assert that the president, no matter what president it is, this president or any future president, whether it be President Bush, whether it be President Obama, whether it be the next president of the United States or one five presidencies into the future should not be able to say, you, Joe American, I'm calling you an enemy combatant. I am locking you up. I'm assigning your defender, your court attorney, if you will. I'm deciding the rules of evidence. I'm deciding if it's going to be secret. And after I conclude that there's enough evidence because of a partial fingerprint, I'm locking you up forever, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. 